Yo guys, welcome to episode number 8 of Building Beckham. You guys hit 300 likes in the last episode, so I'm bringing you this next episode today. And in the last episode, I told you guys I would be simulating the rest of the season. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. You guys, for the most part, agreed with me. Now I'm going to be simming it here. I'm going to be doing the training, so uh, let's see how we look after we simulate it. We'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back here after simulating a 79 overall. We only managed to get our overall up plus one, which isn't too bad. We have one more game though, and I think since it's the last game of the season, we'll play this one. This is 100% going to be our last official game with Preston North End in the championship. And after simulating all these games, guys... We did not manage to get into the top six, so Preston will not have a chance to get promoted, which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world because next year we'll be back at Manchester United. So here we go into this match. We're taking on Derby County. They're actually one of the the, the better sides here in the championship. We're, we're right around the middle of the table after this year is over. So we did decent. We, we brought Preston. We contended for a, a top six spot while I was playing the games, but while I started simulating, and w because I wasn't playing, we kind of fell off the table, and this is our last match here with Preston. We're getting some opportunities. It was actually a really good game here. As you can see, I'm taking some long shots. Neither one of them could fall, unfortunately. And uh, halftime whistle would blow. It's a nil-nil game, and you know, it's kind of exactly why I'm uh, simulating a lot of these games. I'm tired of the nil-nil results. I want to get back to the Premier League. I want to get back to, to some more exciting football, and that's exactly what's going to happen uh, uh, hopefully next year, guys. And as we jump into the second half, some chances here for us. I would like to get this last win in our last game with Preston. It would mean a lot, but, I mean, if, if we did lose, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but a win... It would be nice in Darby County. What a shot there from the free kick. A header goes wide here. This is going to be a chance for me. The shot, what a save by the keeper. We had a ton of opportunities this game, and this would be the last one. I couldn't convert, though. That is it. My career with Preston North End has ended the last game here in the championship. We are headed back to Manchester United, guys. It's going to be exciting, and the series is just going to go uphill from here. We'll be at an 80 rated soon, and this is where it all begins. Once we get back to United, hopefully we'll be starting. We'll, we'll look at the squad report once we get back and see who we'll be competing against. It should be interesting, and here we go. It is time. We are back. Beckham returns from loan, and Manchester United, Old Trafford is waiting, and so is Edison Cavani, the new signing for Manchester United. Edison Cavani, a great, great addition to the squad. Here are my league objectives. There we are. Wow, this is going to be exciting right here. We're going to show you guys the squad report as well here in a second. And there's some of my stats. 87 dribbling, 82 ball control, 81 stamina. Look how close we are to an 80. We are so freaking close here's the squad report guys and we got ourselves a nice looking squad memphis the pie 82 rated wayne rooney 86 rated martial 79 84 rated griezmann wow i mean we're just it's looking great guys it's looking great edison cavani isn't on here because of the signing took place uh before uh, I showed you guys this squad report right here. So he's on the team, guys. I assure you that he's just not in this squad report right here. And uh, Pjanic is also someone we signed. The right mid position, it's only me and Juan Mata. So we're going to get a lot of playing time. Us being the only two right mids on the team. That is some great news. Heading into the defense. The defense probably could use a little bit of work. But uh, we can make do with what we have here uh david de gea there as well goalkeeper and we're bringing the number guys number seven here i think i think we've earned the job of wearing number seven sorry memphis you're gonna have to take that off son and we're wearing the number seven david beckham also we're gonna change up the shoes to match the uniforms before we jump 
into our next match and we got the preseason tournament we're gonna get this whole tournament done this episode so we can jump into the premier league and in the first game sydney fc the team from australia should be an exciting match right here and straight away i'm making my presence known with a goal right around the keeper what a shot david beckham in his season debut at manchester united coming back from loan 32nd minute goal wayne rooney to beckham what a strike that wasn't wayne rooney excuse me that was a uh, i'm not even sure who that was number 44 passes it off to me beautiful pass beautiful goal it's one nil first goal back with the club here it feels amazing guys and after the goal here some more chances and this next one is gonna fall to the australian side they're gonna equalize the goal keeper he can't save it it is 1-1 the match is tied straight after i score that beautiful goal the equalizer comes and it's all tied up here in this preseason tournament one point right now is what we're gonna get if the score remains the same we need to do something here wayne rooney that is the end of the first half. Wayne Rooney, how did he not put that one away? He should have given me the assist, but he doesn't. He can't convert on the shot. Wow, what a miss. 1-1 going into the half. We need to pick up these points. This Sydney FC, probably the worst team in our group. So a win here is going to be crucial. And again, more chances for us. And what just happened? How did neither of those shots go in? What was that? I have no idea. Still tied up here. 60th minute. Some more chances, guys. Into the 77th minute now. The cross and in. Keeper just gets his fingertips on it. That is it for the game. Not much went on in the second half. Unfortunately, we draw to the worst team in this group. And that's disappointing because these next two games, we know they're just going to be even tougher. And... After this, we'll show you guys who's actually in our group and some decent teams in here we're going to be going up against. And here it is, Fenerbahce. I think it's how it's said. Also, Atletico Bilbao. And in Group B, Befica. Also, a couple other teams. I'm not sure uh, who, who they are really, but in this next match, Fener Fenerbahce. I'm probably saying that wrong, guys. This is the side we're going up against. Robin Van Persie facing his former side here i don't know if he's actually in the starting lineup but i'm pretty sure he's still on the team here going up against manchester united this should be an interesting match they are on top of the group right now so uh we can't take them lightly uh, we need a win here or i mean i don't know i guess we would take a draw if we draw here next game is pretty much a much win match so we would we would prefer to get the win right here straight away and from a corner how did that one not go in a beautiful pass sent in by me from the corner and the header it just goes wide my teammate he can't put it away wow what a miss here again i'm gonna send in another cross and can't get ahead to it no one can again right here i'm gonna hit up wayne rooney wayne rooney he's gonna take the shot another miss from wayne rooney what is going on with him the captain he can't score. I've put in some great passes to him since I've been back here at the club, and he hasn't been able to convert on any of them. Halftime, it is nil-nil, nothing. No goals, nil-nil at halftime. We honestly probably should be up. Wayne Rooney missed a chance. A couple other chances like that one from the corner. How are we still tied right now? It's crazy, guys. The team from Turkey right here sending it across. Beautiful catch there. By the keeper again right here i'm gonna hit up wayne rooney and again he can't put it in we need our boy jermaine beckford back from preston i feel like he'd be putting all these shots away over rooney but gosh man what is going on he cannot find it here another opportunity it goes wide another miss nil nil is the score still and we get substituted out of the match nil nil that is how the game would end so another point for us two points in the league this next match atletico bilbao 
is a must win game for us if we don't win this game we will be out of this preseason tournament which wouldn't be the end of the world this tournament isn't of too much importance to us but uh winning it would be nice i'm not gonna lie it would be nice so we're gonna go after it here and another early shot and another early miss from us we can't quite convert here i get taken out right here ref plays advantage and wayne rooney just shoots that one i don't even know terrible shot from him yellow card uh, is going to be given to the atletico bilbao player on that tackle he made on me a shot here this one can't quite find it keeper saves it halftime whistle blows once again it's still tied up here we need this goal to win the match and unfortunately I would get no part in the rest of this game. My my fitness is low. My stamina is low. I get substituted out once again. And unfortunately, it is going to be another draw. We're out of the tournament here. A couple accomplishments for me. Closing in. 80 rated still though. We're so close. Not quite. And look at this. Surprisingly, an offer from Dortmund. But... That would make no sense to sign with them. Easily going to reject that. I don't even know why Manchester United are trying to get rid of me. They have no right mids except for me and Juan Mata. I don't know. We're staying here though, guys. No way I was going to accept that move to Dortmund. We're getting some practice in. Also, before our first Premier League game of the season. Some passing drills. And also getting some shooting drills in as well against David De Gea there. Uh, working on our chips and I also uh, did a couple other drills, but I just simulated them like the free kicks uh, Drills and whatnot. I always do the free kick drill guys when given the opportunity So every time I train I do the free kick even though I don't show them to you guys I always do the free kicks, but I don't think we're taking free kicks yet here Which is unfortunate, but it's expected. I'm gonna need to work on uh, My free kicks a lot to be able to take free kicks at Manchester United because with the my player series It's just hard to take free kicks your free kick, uh, you know, free kick stat is always so low no matter what position you really play at, which is kind of stupid. I think it's something they need to change. Going into this next match, though, guys, our first one in the Premier League since last year, taking on Everton away from home. A win here would be nice. Griezmann, Cavani, both on the bench. We are in the starting lineup over Juan Mata giving the chance to start we need to make the most of it right here we're gonna try our best pick up a goal maybe some assists we'll see here we go in to kickoff right here everton wow lukaku misses it hits off the crossbar what a chance he can't find it but right here he does find it lukaku with the header from a beautiful cross goes straight by the keeper and just like that we are losing one nil i'll tell you what that was a beautiful cross and the finish by lukaku beautiful header one nil we need to get back into this game right here but halftime whistle it's gonna blow right here guys and it is one nil we are losing we didn't get much chances to you know make the score level or even take the lead in this match Everton pretty much dominating from start so in the second half we need to turn it up here to try to get that equalizer and possibly a game winner that would be amazing here pass sent in and finally Wayne Rooney's gonna finish one it took him long enough I mean after all those misses in the preseason tournament finally he finishes one right here. It was just an easy assist as well. He's wide open. Beautiful shot. Upper corner. My first assist on the year in the Premier League. 1-1 is the score. Rooney again. He would go for another one. This one from way outside though. Don't know why he took that shot. I was making a nice run. Here, I make another good run. And I try to chip Howard in the follow. Put back. Can't quite go in two great chances i probably shouldn't have went with the chip right there i don't know i felt like after doing that chip drill earlier i, I could have put that one in, in the top corner it didn't happen though another opportunity for us we were dominating here in the second half and a free kick opportunity right here am i going to be the one who steps up to take it no i'm not 
Edison Cavani is the man put to the spot. The shot, though, it goes wide. Hopefully, sooner or later, we will be taking uh, free kicks. But for now, it's not looking good right now. A chance here for us. couple fake shots in. Probably should have took that one on my own, but I try to pass it. But we're going to win a corner right here. And I'm going to be set up here. Can we maybe get an equalizer right here? I haven't gotten an assist from a corner yet in my career. The pass sent in. The shot. It is a game-winning goal. 79th minute from an assist from the corner spot from me. What a way to make a first impression here in my season debut at Manchester United. The fans, the players, the manager, I'm sure they are all glad to have me back at the squad. Game-winning goal from an assist by me. I get taken off to a standing ovation by the fans that made the trip here. And, wow. What a way to do it, guys. This is going to be the end of the episode. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited to have me back at Manchester United. It's going to be fun from here on out. You guys are going to love this series. I'm hoping you enjoy it. If we can hit another 300 likes, that would be absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys later. Peace.